Hello, my name is Vanessa. I am an exercise physiologist at People Fit. Today we will be doing a total body sculpt class. Basically what we'll be doing is switching between some cardio and a couple of strength training exercises. We will eventually go on the floor. Um, but yeah, just do whatever feels comfortable. We'll just start with just a gentle warm up. We'll just step from side to side, swinging our arms back and forth. All right, and then we'll start with our cardio burst. We're gonna do the skater. So either jumping from side to side or stepping. We'll do 15 seconds, four times. Three, two, one. Okay. Good. Again, either jumping or stepping. Good. Three, two, one. One. All right. We'll take a 10 second rest and then we'll start again in three, two, one. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Two more to go. We'll start again. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. All right, we have one more to go. Three, two, one. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, for the first two, we're gonna switch between a bicep curl, and then we're gonna do a glute kickback. So grab weights if you have them. So elbows glued to the side, palms forward. We're gonna curl to the top and slowly come back down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, good, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. You can put those weights to the side, either holding on to something or staying where you are. We're going to have one toe facing out with your heel touching. Then we're going to kick back, squeeze their glute at the top, and slowly lower down, trying to hover over the ground. Two, and really trying to make sure your leg goes back and not to the side. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Shake that leg out and we'll go to the other side, toe pointed out, hip squared to the front. We'll kick back, squeeze, and slowly lower down. Two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, good, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go back to the bicep curl. All right, we'll grab our weights, curl to the top, elbows glued, slowly lowering back down. 
two, three, four, five. Good. Slowly going down, six. Making sure your wrists don't curl forward at the top, making sure your wrist stays flat. Good. Awesome. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Eleven. And twelve. All right, we'll go back to that glute kickback. So toe pointed out, hip squared to the front. We'll kick back, squeeze, and slowly come back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Shake those legs out. We'll do the other side. Toe pointed to the side. Kick back, squeeze, and slowly lower down. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Shake those legs out. We'll go and grab our weights again, and we're going to do a reversed peck fly. So feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the hips. Back flat, we'll lift our arms up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and slowly come back down. Two, three, good, four. And again, you can look down at the floor if it feels more comfortable. Good, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. All right, we're going to switch between that and a reverse lunge. So, again, if you want to hold on, we're going to just do one side at a time, just making sure when you step back, that front knee doesn't go over your toe. So really thinking down and back. And then we'll step back up and meet the other foot. So we'll do 12 on one side, then we'll switch. Ready? One. Good, try to keep as upright as you can. Two. Really check on that knee. Three. Four. Hands however you'd like. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Shake those legs out. We'll do the other side. So starting with your feet together, step back, down, make sure that knee doesn't go over, and step back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, good, almost there, eleven, and 
and 12. Good, shake those legs out. We'll go back to that reverse peck fly. So feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging forward at your hips, weights out in front, back flat, come to the top, squeeze the shoulder blades together and slowly down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Again, you can look down at the ground so you don't have to hold your neck up. Good. Three more. Good. And last one. Awesome. All right, let's go back to those reverse lunges. So we'll start with our feet together. We'll step back with one leg down. Make sure that knee doesn't go over your toe and step back up. Good. Two. Really think down. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, good, almost there, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Feet together, step back. Check on that knee and come back up. Again, coming down as far as you feel comfortable, just as long as that knee isn't going over your toe. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good, you got this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, shake those legs out. Then we're going to now do a cardio burst. We're going to do punches in any direction, up, down, side, back, whatever you want. We'll do 15 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, ready and go. Good. Again, you can follow me or you can go literally punch in any direction. Just trying to move as quickly as you can while being safe. Okay, good. Three, two, one. All right, 10 second rest. We'll start again. Three, two, one. Good, you got this. Awesome. Whatever way you want, you can go a little bit back, do a little twist, whatever feels comfortable. Three, two, one. Good. All right, we'll start again in three, two, one. Good. Good, awesome, almost there. Three, two, one. All right, so we have one more round of that. Three, two, one. Good. You got this. Almost there. All right. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. The next two, we're going to switch between a front arm raise. So you can do this with or without dumbbells. If this bothers your shoulder at all, you can go back to those bicep curls instead, or you can do this, the front raise without any weights. But if you, if you want to use weights, we'll grab those weights 
Keep our shoulders and neck relaxed. And we're just going to lift up as high as we can and slowly come back down. Again, trying not to tense up your neck at all. Good. Three, slowly coming down. Good. Making sure those shoulders don't come up. Make your neck as relaxed as you can make it. Really focusing on the arms. Good, halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Okay, you can put those weights to the side. Now what we're gonna do is a side lunge. So we did that reverse lunge. Now we're gonna step to the side, have a slight bend in our knee, kind of sit back like we are sitting on a chair, making sure again that that knee isn't going over your toe. So we're just gonna do one side first, then switch to the other side. So we'll step to the side, down, and step back up. Good. So again, step out as far as you feel comfortable. And again, just watch out for that knee going over your toe. So really try to sit down and back. Good. Three. Awesome. Hands wherever. Four. Five. Good. Six. Really want to feel it in that glute and the outer part of your leg. You might feel it a little in that inner part as well. Eight. Nine. Ten. You got this. Eleven. And twelve. Shake those legs out. We'll do the other side, starting with your feet together, step to the side, down and back. Check on that knee, make sure it's not going too forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight, nine, good, you got this, almost there. 10, 11, and 12. Shake those legs out and we'll go back to the um, front arm raise. So grabbing your weights, four, again, you can do this with just your body weight. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. We'll lift up and slowly come back down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good, you got this. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Let's go back to that side lunge. So feet together, stepping to the side, down and back, and stepping back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight. Nine. Good, you got this. Three more. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. 
Awesome. Shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Step to the side, down and back, and back up. Make sure that knee stays behind your toe. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten, awesome, almost there, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do one more cardio burst and then we're gonna go on to the floor. So for this one, what I want you to do is we're going to have our arms above our head and we're going to chop from our hips to above our head. From one hip to above our head. Again, do it as quickly as you can where you feel comfortable, but making sure you're not whipping up and down. So we'll go from our hip to above our head. Hip to above our head. Yeah, so trying to engage your core with this one. Again, do as many as you can in 15 seconds without hurting your back. Good. Perfect. Almost there. Three, two, one. Stepping from side to side. Good. We'll start again in three, two, one. Side, up, side, up. Again, you can have a slight bend in your knee if that feels comfortable. Trying to maintain a pelvic tilt, so drawing your belly button in. Good. Really trying to engage that core as much as you can. Good. Three, two, one. Awesome. Halfway there. We'll start again in three, two, one. We'll come up and to the side. Good. Good. We'll come up and down, up and down. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, we have one more of those to go. Then we'll head to the floor. Three, two, one. Up and down, up and down. Good. So we're chopping basically on each side, but in a continuous motion. Again, you can have that slight bend in your knee when you come down, so you don't have to lean with your back, good. Good, three, two, one. Awesome, so you can grab some water, kind of readjust your camera if you want to. We're gonna do some exercises on the ground. All right. Oops, so we're gonna start, before we lay down, we're gonna start sitting on our butt. And we're going to do a Russian twist. So again, you can do this with or without weights. I'm just gonna grab two one pound weights. Whatever you have available, again, you can do it without weights if you'd like. So for these, we're saying Russian twist, but I don't really want you to be twisting back and forth. You're gonna keep your back as straight as you can, lean back, and I want you to tap from side to side. So your core is gonna, or your back and your core are gonna stay where they are, and our arms are gonna be the only thing moving from hip to hip. So we'll hit each side 12 times. The further you lean back, the harder it's gonna be, trying to keep that back as flat as you can. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, Five. And again, if you're near a wall and it's more helpful, you can always do this against a wall as well. Eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. Awesome. All right, we're going to come onto our back. And we're going to leave a little space between our legs. So we don't want them right together. We want them a little bit apart. And then we're going to have our hands together and we're going to reach through our legs. Again, if this hurts your neck too much to lift up and you're using your neck instead of your core, I just want you to stay at the bottom and do dead bugs instead. If not, I want you to reach through your legs and come back down. Again, when you do come up, making sure not to use your neck, you're really focusing on that upper core. All right, we'll do 12. One, two, three. Good, awesome. Three more, you got this. Good, awesome. Take a little rest and then we'll slowly come up to sit on our butt and go back to that Russian twist. All right, doing a lot of core right here on the floor. So we're gonna grab, again, optional, grabbing your weights. Back flat, leaning back as far as you feel comfortable. Tapping side to side. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome. All right, let's go back to that crunch going through your legs. Or again, if that hurts your neck, going into that dead bug. All right, ready and go. Good. Okay, you got this. Again, if you're doing the crunch, making sure not to use your neck. Halfway. Good. One more. Awesome. All right. Since we're in that core mood, we're going to finish off with two more core exercises, switching back and forth. So the first one we're going to do is, so a lot of times we cross our legs back and forth and do a scissors. This time we're just going to do a flutter kick. So if these are my legs, we're just going back and forth instead of crossing them like scissors. So again, same with this. If you can be down here, you can be all the way up here. I just want to make sure that you have that pelvic tilt in your lower back. So there's no space between your lower back and the floor, pressing it down all the way. So if that means you can come down further, totally fine. Um, but if not, keep your legs up. All right, we're going to do 15 seconds. Ready and go. So again, just back and forth like this. I know you can't see the top of my feet. Keeping that lower back flat. Good. Got this. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Legs down for just a second because we're going to bring them back up and touch opposite arm to opposite foot. Again, go back to that dead bug if this is bothering your neck. If not, we're going to Touch opposite hand to opposite toe. Whatever feels more comfortable, both are great. I just wanted to give you this option if you wanted to try something new. All right, ready and go. Good. Got this. We're going to hit each side 12 times. Good. Halfway. Good. One more. Awesome. You can put your legs down for a rest for a second. Knees from side to side. We're going to do each of those one more time. 
So we'll do the flutter kick, 15 seconds, then opposite toe, opposite hand. Then we'll stretch. All right, ready and go. Good, got this. Make sure that lower back's flat, have that pelvic tilt, so no stress in that lower back. Three, two, one. Little break. Again, going back to either dead bug with your lower back flat or opposite hand, opposite two. We'll hit each side 12 times and then we'll stretch. Ready and go. Good. Five. 11 and 12. Awesome. And relax and bring our arms out to the side. We'll bring our knees to one side, slowly coming from side to side. Again, for all these stretches, like I always say, we're just doing a mini version. You can always hold them longer or repeat them a second time and just do whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna stop and keep our legs over to one side, trying to keep those shoulder blades planted on the floor. Breathing in and out. We'll slowly come to the other side. We'll hold here. Inhale and exhale. Coming to center. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to bring both of our knees in towards our chest and do a little rocking if it feels comfortable. Make sure you're breathing here as well while you're doing all these stretches. We'll let that go. One leg will extend out. The other one will still hold in. If you want to keep that other leg bent, that's totally fine. If it feels better down, that's great too. Good. We'll switch sides. All right, both legs in again. We'll bring one leg over the other and then bring that opposite leg in for a pretzel stretch. We'll hold here. Again, with the holding, make sure you're breathing. Switching sides. We'll slowly bring ourselves to a seated position. We're going to bring one leg over the other and twist in that direction. Switching to the other side, leg over, twist. Awesome. All right. You can either bring your feet out straight in front of you or out to the side, and we're going to reach for the toes. Yes. All right. And then in any seated position, you can stay where you are or you can cross your legs, have them straight out. We're going to just bring our arm across our body. Switch to the other side. Good. 
arm behind your back, grabbing onto that elbow. Switching sides. All right, we're just gonna do a couple of head rolls. We'll go in one direction. And slowly, other direction. One more. Reach forward, stretching out your back. Okay, we'll slowly come up to standing and we'll finish the stretches there. All right, we're gonna let our whole body fall forward, swaying side to side. Slowly rolling up, arms out in front of you, tucking your head in. Arms behind. Deep breath in and down. Deep breath in and down. We'll do three more. Deep breath in. Out. Deep breath in. Out. Last one. Deep breath in. And we're done. Again, feel free for a longer stretch to check out our other videos on YouTube, but have a great night.